Hi, I'm Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Also today in this segment, I'm at the Boscobble Depot Heritage Museum in Boscobble, Wisconsin. The Boscobble Depot Heritage Museum is located on 800 Wisconsin Avenue and is open if you check the web for the hours. Also, the depot was built in 1857 and served for the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad, and even for passenger service. It also served as the marshalling point of 2,000 plus young enlisted men of the Union Army, and again during World War I and World War II. It also served the area with food and industrial goods, as well as travel through station, including among notable people entering the city were the two traveling salesmen, Samuel E. Hill and John H. Nicholson, who began the writing of the Gideon Bible, as well as John Blaine, who left the city for a three-term government of Wisconsin and later adversity for President Franklin D. Roosevelt, then later on, it was retired and then became a museum and the depot had been restored and the interior has been converted into a turn of the century railroad and early rural America as well. Okay, you can see behind me, this is a depot signal that may have seen service around this area on the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad. And I believe it was used at this depot till being retired, and it would indicate trains when to stop or go or slow down and such, as you can tell by those lights on the hand. And now here it is today. Okay, you can see right here's a switch stand that is just next to the depot, which I could move it, but rotate it but can't since it's locked in place also this switch stand may have been used around this area all those years ago till ending up right here okay along this trail you can see this crossing signal and also this may have been used around here and was used by the chicago milwaukee and st paul railroad years ago and now here it is today and it's just closer to the Boscobble Heritage Depot Museum and also there's another one, another crossing signal, but it's just on the other side of the gazebo. Let's go look at it. Okay, here's another crossing signal that I was just talking about, but you can tell it looks different compared to the one we just looked at. And I'm going to say this one was used by the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad all those years ago till it ended up right here adjacent to the Boscobble Depot Heritage Museum. What you see right behind me is Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul 992-205. Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul 992-205 was built by the Thrall Car Manufacturing Company in Chicago Heights, Illinois in 1956 and is a Bay Window Caboose. It was originally numbered 02205. This caboose was once used on freight trains many years ago on the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad. And it was used as the train crew's office, and it was at the back end of freight trains as well. It was then renumbered 992205 as well. Later, it was possibly used by the Sioux Line when the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad merged to that railroad in 1986. Then later on, this caboose was retired, and it was then moved to this spot at the Boscobble Depot Heritage Museum in Boscobble, Wisconsin, where it is today, and also you can even visit the interior of the car as well.
Okay, you can see behind me, this is Speeder 8149 that was once built by the Fairmount Motor Company in Minnesota. And then it was built for the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad where it would do track inspections and take people to look at the tracks and make sure they look safe and such. And also, it would eventually end up here at the depot where it is today in Boscobble, Wisconsin, where it is today. Okay, you can see right here, this is a speeder trailer, also known as a Gandhi Dancer, because it would take track crews as it would be pulled by a speeder and would be used for maintenance of way use until ending up right here. And this one may have seen service on the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad all those years ago till again ending up here at the Boscobble Depot Heritage Museum in Boscobble, Wisconsin. Well, I hope you all enjoyed learning about trains with me today in Matthew Lap Train Guy Segment Show. Also, I hope to see you all again in the next segment. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, the subscribe button is just down below the video screen. And if you didn't give the Facebook page a like yet, here's where you'll want to go. And if you didn't give the Instagram page a follow yet, here's where you'll want to go as well. Also, be sure to get your merch at teesprings.com. Link is in the description box below, along with the Facebook and Instagram pages. And remember to subscribe to The Train Guy. So this is Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Sign now. Until next time, all aboard.